Have you met true heroes? Probably the first thing you think about is the heroes from Hollywood movies. But have you met heroes in real life? True heroes are among us. It's just that their super weapons are open hearts, a desire to serve people and help every person on the planet, and the courage to voice the truth to the whole world. They do this not for money and not for the sake of glory, because true heroes are ordinary humans with a capital letter H. The event that took place on the 4th of December, 2021, have brought together thousands of such people from all over the world. The Worldwide Conference Global Crisis Time for the Truth went live in 100 languages of the world in order to reach the heart of every person on Earth. The broadcast lasted 12 hours, backed by 3,000 hours of dedicated and hard work of a dozen teams and thousands of human heroes from around the world. Someone said that it's impossible to implement such a thing, but all of us together, we did it. Friends, this means that we will also be able to implement the most important thing for which we take action, to change the world for the better and to make the creative society a reality. In this video series, we will show only a very small part of the events behind the scenes during the preparations for the conference. At the earnest request of our participants, the first thing we started doing was to invite famous people to the conference. Our goal was for movie stars, show business people, athletes, and politicians to call on all people to unite in the face of global cataclysms, since they are the ones who, within a short period of time, can convey information about the danger to millions of people and thereby save many people's lives. We really hoped and sincerely believed that these famous personalities would respond. We wrote letters to these people, and in order to personally hand over the invitations to the conference to them, we went to film festivals and events in various countries, and also addressed their friends and colleagues, and much more. Let's look at just a few examples. Shed Republic. Hello. Hello, guys. We're going to the film festival, and today we know that John Depp is definitely going to be there. We will succeed to invite Johnny Depp for global crisis. Time for the truth. So really, fingers crossed. Shed Republic, Kalo Viveri International Film Festival. Today is August 28, 2021, and the participants of the Creative Society International Project have come to the festival in Calaviveri to hand over the invitation to the conference to Johnny Depp. We haven't received an answer to the invitation letter yet, so maybe it will work out like this. Today is a very successful day because we got an autograph and guess from who? From Johnny Depp. It seems like he didn't understand that it was an invitation for him and just left his autograph for us. Hello everybody, right now we are all driving to Alabama to meet with President Trump. We're driving four hours from Atlanta and we do believe that we will make it. Right now, we are interviewing people. Mr. President, we, love you. we trust Donald J. Trump. President Trump. Trump, we love you so much. Dear President Trump, the American people and the other countries, they want to hear your voice. And to come to the conference. America loves you. You're the only one who can say the truth and be the voice of the, all the American people. It's not just here in the United States. This is a global movement. Look at France. Look at the UK. Look at Australia. Look at what's going on around the world, folks. We need President Trump. President Trump, will you accept our invitation to come to the global crisis? Dubai, United Arab Emirates. We are honored to bring you the media coverage from the 16th anniversary Ritosa Global Family Office Investment Summit in Dubai.
participants wanted to make sure they did everything possible. So they drove to another rally. Volunteers are at Donald Trump's rally. He's behind us right now. He is making America a great country again. Or at least he's trying to do that. But this won't happen without the Creative Society. That's why he is invited. Meanwhile in Germany. Hello dear friends, today Misha and I are in Cologne at Digital X2021 Germany. We have prepared these letters and invitations including the one for Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger and we are going to hand them over today. Schwarzenegger! Schwarzenegger! Arnold Schwarzenegger is on stage. We managed to pass this letter to Arnold Schwarzenegger and to his personal assistant. Venice, Italy. Alatra TV Italy team is at the closing ceremony of the Venice Film Festival. Today, we managed to speak with Javier Bardem. We were very pleased that he listened to our information about the conference attentively and thanked us for the initiative that Alatra International Public Movement is implementing. London, United Kingdom. Hi, guys. Tonight, we've come to a meeting with Mel Gibson. We'll make an attempt to invite him to our conference on December 4th. I managed to pass the letter to him, although it's unclear whether he will read it or not. It all happened very fast there. Zurich, Switzerland. In order to invite Sharon Stone, our volunteers from Slovakia specially traveled to Switzerland for the International Film Festival in Zurich. What would you think about the situation that's actually occurring on the planet? What should people do? What would be your advice for them? I actually do uh, feel that one of the most important things that we can do is understand that we as individuals have power. Climate Summit, COP26, in Glasgow, Scotland. Participants of the Creative Society project from the United Kingdom could not miss such an event. As you notice our little symbol, I'd like to give this to you as a present. And I'm going to wear it on you. <laughs> Please. And proudly. Don't spike yourself. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. It symbolizes the eight foundations, and obviously the the clockwise motion for the future. When people thank you ask for your time. Me, I will tell them when it's you. Keep thank fighting you for, for it. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Participants of the Creative Society invited politicians of different countries of the world, including the United States. Dozens of emails and invitation letters were sent to the presidents of the United States, Clinton, Bush, Obama, and Trump. Note, all these people used their spare time, spent their own money, at times, paying tens of thousands of dollars in order to get to events where celebrities were present and using all of their resources for every chance to invite them. After all, behind these famous personalities, there are hundreds of millions of people, which means there are lives that can be saved if people learn about the impending danger in time. To our call, we received a response from one of the most influential religious leaders in the world. Pope Francis, he did not disregard thousands of letters from people from different countries and gave his official blessing to the Creative Society Project, of which he testified in writing. At that time, thousands of volunteers from various countries who didn't have an opportunity to travel to field events invited famous personalities through social media. They organized a grassroots campaign of invitations on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Weibo, and other worldwide social networks. For example, Renka, a participant of the Creative Society Project from Slovakia, came up with a special invitation for Morgan Freeman. Hello, Mr. Freeman. I'm Renka from Slovakia. Uh, many greetings from this beautiful country from Central Europe. Please help us to join people, help us to unite people. You're asking me what to do with all this knowledge you're accumulating, I say, pass it on. 
This video resonated with many people, including his fans. We found out that Morgan Freeman loves paintings with his image. And so our participants painted a picture of him. Maybe he will pay attention to himself. It's a great time for brave hearts. We support these posts with our reposts and comments so that Leo has a chance to accept this invitation. There were a lot of such creative invitations. Each of us did everything we could. Fans themselves called their idols to the December 4th conference. Here are just a few of these celebrities. I wonder who among them will respond from invitations from people. We will see that on the 4th of December at the conference, Global Crisis. Time for the truth. Hello, everyone, friends. Right now, we're going live from the Climate Channel on TikTok to tell all viewers about the upcoming conference on December 4th, Global Crisis, Time for the Truth. Uh, what we're doing here, we created a new Global Crisis uh, TikTok account. Temperature rises by 10 to 15 degrees Celsius in urban areas, concentration of huge flows of people, this is how climate videos are being made. Good morning. We are getting ready to go live on TikTok. Right now, I'll show you our location from where I'm going live. My name is Andrea. Right now, I'm supporting the Creative Society and the upcoming conference with videos on TikTok. I participate in TikTok, responding to people's comments just like this in my spare time from work while I'm waiting for my students. One of the most frequently asked questions is how can the Creative Society stop climate disasters? During the preparation for the conference, we interviewed scientists, experts, famous people, astronauts, eyewitnesses of climatic events and refugees. We did all of this in order to present the world with truthful and comprehensive information. Georgia. We are going to tell all the people in Georgia about the international conference, Global Crisis, Time for the Truth. It's the 3rd of October, Georgia. It is 9.43 a.m. and we are on our way to take an interview. Russia. We are interviewing scientist Konstantin Gabrin on the subject of alternative energy. We are here uh, recording interview for the conference Global Crisis Time for the Truth. And we are there here. Hello, guys. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Norway. It is 9.58 a.m. Norway time. Right now I'm in Zoom, preparing to interview a true expert and researcher, Hans Burger. What are you doing? I'm getting the equipment ready to shoot an interview. With the ecologist of our time, Irina Fedorovna Chukashina. We are recording an interview for the conference Global Crisis Time for the Truth to be held on the 4th of December. Again, Belgium. Hello everyone from rainy Belgium. Just now in the car we were talking to Elena Podlatchikova in order to arrange an interview and invite her to the conference. It is almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I am sitting in a jacket because at 11 p.m. I got a call from Ina with whom we are searching for eyewitnesses of climate disasters around the world. It turns out that a man from California, a journalist who is on his way to film the fires in California right now, has agreed to give us an interview live from the scene. We contacted him and were talking for nearly three hours about different things and, of course, about the Creative Society. I don't speak English, but anyway, I was with everyone else. And I'd like to say that it doesn't matter that I don't know the language. We saw him smiling, and it was the highest reward possible. 
matter what happens, as long as a person has life, and as long as we have each other, we are not afraid of anything. We can withstand any disaster, and everyone we've talked to has one thing in common. All of them want to live. Indeed, life can come to an end suddenly, so we must value it. Germany. Today, we have come to the Central Park in Bahum to film social surveys. We've come here with our entire family. One of us played with the children on the playground, while the other three filmed interviews. The issues to be raised at the conference Global Crisis Time for the Truth on December 4th is the issue of climate refugees. For this purpose, we went out in the street to talk to people and find out their opinions. This is a very important issue to raise and to ask people themselves what they think, not through intermediaries, but from people personally. Austria have gathered together from different parts of Austria, and right now we are on our way to Vienna to carry out social surveys among locals on the topic of refugees. We're interviewing refugees. We've came to the camp where they are staying. We've been here for several hours already, and people are very responsive. Right now, together with the guys, with our team, we are preparing information. We get in touch with people from all over the world. It's a heartfelt moment. We contacted refugees, eyewitnesses and organizations that help refugees. We told them about the Creative Society. We told them what we are doing, why we are doing it and why we arrange such conferences. When these people heard about the Creative Society and that a lot of people are now concerned about the situation in the world and want to change something for the better, to change the vector of our society to a more creative one. These people gained hope. The conference Global Crisis – Time for the Truth which took place on the 4th of December 2021, was interpreted into 100 languages. It's a huge amount of work. And in the next episode, we will show you how much volunteers have done in order to organize simultaneous interpreting of such a scale. People themselves have taken this initiative because they understand how vital it is to convey the information voiced at the conference to every person. How were the videos edited and voiced over? For this conference, volunteers prepared a large number of videos and even documentary films. Here you see just a small part of our international team of volunteers who were engaged in voiceovers of those videos. Moldova. Hello everyone. It's night time. September 25th. It is 10.30 p.m. My daughter Lena and I are preparing a script for the video on the environment. Our husbands are sleeping. And my child is sleeping. Meanwhile, we are building the Creative Society. It's already 1 a.m., but we keep preparing for the conference. Right, now we're doing video editing of the official trailers for the Portuguese and Finnish channels. We are not professional video editors, but we really want to live in the creative society. That is why we have learned this skill, and we help as much as we can. Kazakhstan. Hello, dear friends. It's 11 p.m and I continue editing short videos in preparation for the conference of December 4th, 2021. It is the 27th of November, and preparations for the conference are in full swing. We are editing and compiling video fragments. There's not much time left before the conference, so we are working at night. Belarus. Hello. All of us are now preparing for the international conference 
global crisis, time for the truth. And I'm also involved in the search of footage and selection of music to create a promo video. Hi everyone, today is November 24th and I'm currently making computer graphics for the videos to be shown at the conference. What really motivates me is that the information is really important and we need all of humanity to hear about it. Moreover, we have a huge international team. So guys, join us and we will build the Creative Society together. There are only two weeks left before the conference. We are actively working on editing the video which will be shown at the conference. The video is about the core of our planet and we have just a few days left to complete it. Latvia. We are from Latvia. Now we are in the process of filming a short video for the conference. Hi, I'm editing the video right now. The video is called Refugees, the Unexpected Truth. December 2nd, it is 1.41 a.m. Right now, video editing is underway in an online mode. Today is the 3rd of December 2021. It is 3.44 a.m. and we are preparing for the conference Global Crisis Time for the Truth. I am helping to edit a short video about cataclysms. Watch it at the conference. Мировой океан занимает 70% площади нашей планеты. Мы долгое время всем миром сбрасывали туда все свои отходы. Мы наивно полагали, что они просто растворятся. Но на сегодняшний день океан — это мусорная свалка. Today is the 21st of November. It is 8.35 p.m and I'm voicing over a short video for the conference Global Crisis, Time for the Truth. Just like other guys, I do this in my spare time. Hi, today is the 27th of November, 2021. Half past 11 at night. It is 3 a.m. It is 48 minutes after midnight. We're doing a voiceover. This is such a homemade studio. Right now I'm doing a voiceover. I'm voicing interviews with scientists in Germany. I'm in the voiceover team. Today is December 2nd. Two days left before the conference. The work is in full swing. I do voiceover for the conference. Here's a little preparation of the conference. Let's start. It looks like this. My name is Dorian Rookmaker. More than 20 years have passed. Изменения климата, которые мы наблюдаем на планете, серьезно и значительны. Нас ждут разрушения. Замесите женскую штыку, которая притащит. У нас есть невероятная возможность изменить ситуацию к лучшему. Позвольте мне поприветствовать всех на уникальной конференции. Онлайн конференция. Глобальный кризис. Час правды. Hello, Julie. Please tell us, what are you doing? Hi. Right now we are bracketing voiceovers for the conference Global Crisis, Time for the Truth, which will be held on December 4th. How are we doing it? I usually do it here, in the wardrobe, so that there is some insulation. I record voiceovers on a regular phone. I'm broadcasting to you from my cloakroom. Now, while everyone at home is asleep, I have an opportunity to record a voiceover. Here's my working tool, the microphone. Here's the working software, and the process is underway. I recorded it in the wardrobe as well. I can show you. I use this suitcase as a computer stand. It's sort of a mini studio. And since there are a lot of clothes hanging here, I hope the sound gets a little lighter. Here's my entire equipment. My phone, the headphones. I do it in my spare time, as soon as I get a chance. Now it's 3 a.m. That's just the way it is. I'm a musician by profession. I have my home studio here, right in my apartment. 
By profession, I have absolutely no relation to voiceovers, dubbing or editing. I'm actually a forest pathologist, and this is the second conference where I help a team of guys who do voiceovers in different languages. What I do is editing their voiceovers. I'd like to share that we have a very cordial relationship in the team. It's amazing that many of us don't sleep several nights before the conference to be on time, with editing and dubbing all the speeches and all the videos to be shown there. But at the same time, I'm so full of energy and the team is so friendly. When I just enter the chat and ask, guys, what is there for editing? A task was sent like a minute ago, but someone already took it, just like hotcakes. So it's not only the teamwork that inspires, but the message that is conveyed. It's just incredible. This information really concerns everyone. And I'm so grateful that I have an opportunity to participate in this process. Even though I have an outdated computer and didn't have any skills before, Moreover, I sometimes have a very bad internet connection, but I still have an opportunity to help. You just come in your spare time, while someone is free in the evening, someone in the morning, while someone in the afternoon. Some people take a vacation for this time, others take several days off. Actually, each of us is trying to bring at least something. And in fact, you know every person, and you are so happy when you see such well-coordinated work. It's just awesome. We people have to do it ourselves. I mean, it all starts with that, right? This is basically what we do in our spare time. Why do I do this personally? Honestly, I think it's the most important thing in my life right now. If we don't do it, everything else is actually meaningless. For me, it's a great happiness to be able to use my skills and abilities to serve people. Guys, join the team of volunteers. Creative Society is really a society that brings all people together. It's very inspiring that we can tell other people in different countries about what is going on, so that they are warned, because they live in potentially dangerous regions. It's very important to warn everyone in all languages. Right now, when I'm doing voiceovers, of course, I can't help but experience all this. It is so vital in our time to actually tell the whole truth and let the entire world hear of what the consumerist format has led us to, to what kind of state we ourselves have brought our planet and our society. Now it is time. The time has really come to change it all not only because we don't have any other options, but it's just that we cannot tolerate all this anymore. We have to live as human beings. We were born for that. Now let's see how our speakers were preparing for the conference. Very soon they will have to speak to the entire humanity. speeches and we are discussing the timing to see um, who Robert and I are going to introduce. So, yes, looking forward to it. It's 9.30 a.m. here and um, we're starting early. A day before the conference. Yes, yes. <laughs> Katarina, what are you doing? I'm learning a speech for tomorrow's conference, Global Crisis, Time for the Truth. See you there. Greetings in the Creative Society. It is the 3rd of December, 5 a.m. 
We are shortening the script because there is so much material that it won't fit in the 12 hours allowed on YouTube for broadcasts. We still have 15 minutes to cut and the victory will be ours. Ecuador. This is my workplace. What do I need for my work? An ordinary computer, a phone, and good illumination. Let's go get ready. There's not much time left. Literally a little more than two hours before the conference beginning. The Emirates team is preparing for the conference. We still have 12 hours ahead. Stay with us. I'm going to talk about the heating of the ocean, and not only that. My name is Jason from the United States. This is just a behind the scenes setup for the conference. My only wish is that uh, more people would attend these conferences and would step forward. So the great conference of December 4th, Global Crisis, Time for the Truth, is about to start. Everything is ready, everything is set up. There's literally a couple of hours left before the grandiose, incredible event that will take place all over the planet. Here is what my location looks like. For esteemed guests from Armenia. We are setting up the language stream. There is a little problem and we're trying to solve it. We'll now fix it. What kind of problem? It's a little technical problem. But we dealt with them lots of times. And we will handle it now, too. You know what we're going to do all night? All night and until the very morning, I will broadcast the conference in Burmese. Good morning. We are now testing our locations. We have one hour left before the event. So we are finalizing preparations for the broadcast. The most important person is surely the one who makes coffee. Hey, can anyone check me out and see if I'm okay? That's it, Sasha. I'm taking you to the auditorium. Let's go. It's very exciting to be part of this, part of this historical moment. So let's make sure we can do a great conference. Kids are sleeping. Hopefully they will be sleeping during the conference, so not to be distracted. But at the end, it's for them that we're doing this. If we do something, how do we always do it? Perfectly. At the very least, at a super duper level. But as a rule, perfectly. That's the way it is happening, guys. Just a few seconds remain before the start of the conference. Global crisis. Time for the truth for which we've been preparing for for four months. Okay, I think we're ready. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, start. The example of our international team has proved to us once again that people's strength is in unity. We can do a lot when we unite for the sake of our common goal, building the creative society. We sincerely thank the entire international team of volunteers of the Creative Society Project. You are true heroes.